G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash and we are back with another Canadian reaction video. This particular video was suggested to me by one of my original members on Discord. Shout out to Lost in the Fog. How you going mate? Hope you're traveling well. Mate, I absolutely love the Rocky Mountains, the Canadian Rocky Mountains. I haven't done a video on them in a really long time. Cannot wait to get into this. Learn the best places to go to, best places to eat. We're looking forward to this video, but before we do guys, please make sure to jump on, smash the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for all future live streams and videos. Okay, the Canadian Rockies, best things to do and where to eat. Let's go. Hey, it's Tom, and my going, friend Tom? Take Time to Travel. How's it going, Canada Mike? is a country full of natural beauty, especially in the Rocky Mountains of Alberta. Oh. Today, we're going to show you around the town of Banff to give you some ideas on the best things to do, it's as well as some off. amazing places to eat during your visit to Banff, Canada. Absolutely. We began our trip with a very scenic drive through the Canadian Rocky Mountains, and once we arrived in town, we parked on top of the Bear Street Parkade, which wow. has a fabulous view and free parking on the top floor. From there, we had a short walk along Bear Street and turned down Caribou Street, which was lined with lots of inviting restaurants and patios, oh and took gosh. us over to Banff Avenue the picturesque town's main street. When we went, the road was closed and it was set up as a charming walking street. Oh, that's, that's also so perfect cool. for biking. And there's lots of shops, boutiques, and great restaurants like the Grizzly House, which we'll show you later in the video. Oh. But let's keep going and show you another one of Banff's main attractions, oh. <laughs> the iconic Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel, also referred to as Canada's Castle in the Rockies, which has been operating since 1888 and is one of the country's original Grand Railway Hotels. Mm, that's we great. decided to check out this landmark's impressive main lobby before heading out back to the Rundle Patio, where we decided to have lunch with Mike's family. We sat down at our table, which had a spectacular panoramic view Just overlooking the, the mountains. Even though it was a bit smoky from the wildfires up north, Aww. the scenery was still absolutely breathtaking. We oh my gosh just look at the views you guys have got there absolutely beautiful i am so jealous absolutely jealous it looked incredible oh he's all drinking coronas the wildfires yeah you guys had another round of wildfires recently how are things going it looked really really bleak um towns just absolutely decimated you've got to worry about the wildlife too so i hope things have turned around a bit i know australia and new zealand they sent some firefighters over there to help out but yes this video, it's just absolutely fantastic. Banff, the National Park. It's just the gift that keeps on giving Canada. So beautiful. I'm so jealous. Mate, I cannot wait to see the food that you guys are going to be eating there. But yeah, this is so cool. I'm so excited for this video. Thank you for this suggestion. I absolutely love it. We started with a couple of Corona beers to drink. <laughs> then Coronas. for an appetizer, we shared the salt and pepper calamari See? with chili, scallions, and herb oil. We have Next this here was in the Chicken Avocado Club with oh, bacon, yum. lettuce, tomato, dill havarti, oh, and guacamole oh, oh. on a ciabatta bun with kettle chips, as what? well as the crispy chicken wings with a spicy dry rub, cucumber, and smoked ranch dip, and the chickpea pecora wrap what? with fresh herbs, pickled cucumber, green goddess dressing, and kettle chips. Mike decided on the shrimp cob salad with crispy pork belly, romaine, snap peas, tomatoes, radish, and umami vinaigrette. Everything was quite tasty and we really enjoyed our family meal together. It's okay, I just got to pause it for a second. They're chips, like from a chip packet. Are they plain flavored, like potato flavored? That just seems really, really strange from, for me in Australia to see that served with a burger or with shrimp. You would serve like french fries we call them chips i think i don't know if you call them french fries but we would serve french fries with a burger or a sandwich like that not kettle crisps or kettle potato chips that is really really strange the food looked incredible anything with chicken and avocado is a win for me put in some bacon beautiful absolutely beautiful the whole chip thing is that something that you guys do all the time that's <laughs> that's crazy to me. That is absolutely insane. 
especially in such a gorgeous setting. Now we'll head over to the Banff Gondola, which oh, costs the... about $75 per person, depending on the day. I did wow. this excursion with my mom, since Tom is afraid of heights. $75? If you're fine bucks? with heights like us, this is a great way to see some fantastic scenery. Or if you're up to it, you can hike up to the top yeah, no. on the trails. I'll but we the decided $75. to take the easy way with better bird's eye views. Yeah. After a lovely <laughs> eight-minute journey soaring about 2,300 feet, we oh. arrived at the summit of Sulphur Mountain, which is about 2,300 meters or 7,500 feet above sea level. Holy we noticed a large family of mountain goats <gasps> just below this main level observation deck, oh. which has an excellent perspective overlooking the town that of Banff, as beautiful. well as the Sulphur Mountain Boardwalk, which leads over to Sanson Peak, the highest point on Sulphur Mountain. The hike is very picturesque, but as expected, there are quite a few stairs, so bring proper footwear. Along the way, there's lots of lookout <gasps> points with seats. spectacular panoramic vistas. And once you get all the way up to the peak, you'll be rewarded with some oh, unforgettable look at that, views. Would Even with all of the smoke, it still looks phenomenal. It does. Now we'll head back along the boardwalk okay. and make our way up to the top floor of the Gondola Summit Building, which... Okay, so during the snow season, these Alps all covered in snow. Is that right? Um, he must be going there during spring or something like that. I'll definitely go there during springtime. The gondola ride. Mate, sign me up for that. I know he said it was 75 bucks, but I'm not hiking. That's not going to happen. Um, lots and lots of stairs. Mate, I'll do the stairs. I'll just have to sit down and have a little break here and there. But, mate, it would well worth be to get up to the top of those stairs and have a look at those beautiful, beautiful views. Absolutely incredible. Beautiful. I love this video so much. I love the red chairs again. You guys know I just want to sit on those red chairs. I love how the Canada flag is waving so high. You guys be so proud of this beautiful, beautiful landscape. It's just absolutely breathtaking. Which has some more stunning views. Look at and it. around on the wow. other side, there's the peak patio, which is a great spot to relax and have a drink. But we better keep going and take the gondola back down the mountain so that we can show you some more fun things to do in Banff. Like wow. over at the Bow Falls viewpoint, which showcases the Bow River and Mount Rundle in the distance. It's a nice spot for a selfie with Aww. the white waters of Bow Falls rushing behind you. There's also the Bow Falls Trail, which gives some unique overhead perspectives of the water crashing over the falls, as well as of the Fairmont Banff Springs Hotel oh. rising above the trees. And oh if you make your way gosh. back down to the river, across the street, you'll find the pathway that leads to the Wald House Restaurant. It's a Bavarian-style cottage that was originally built as the Fairmont Golf Course Clubhouse. Following the pathway around the back of the building, there's a lovely terrace where we decided to grab an afternoon drink. We were seated at a table by the railing with an incredible expansive view overlooking the Bow River, Mount Rundle, and the Fairmont Banff Springs Golf Course. <laughs> it was the perfect spot to have a large Okanagan cider on a hot Okanagan. sunny day. We had a wonderful time at oh. Wald House and we definitely recommend a visit. If there you're you a big golfer, then the Fairmont Banff Springs Golf Course is also worth checking out. We didn't golf, but we drove here in the evening in hopes of finding some <gasps> elk roaming around. Oh, and wow. we were lucky enough to find quite a few. Oh, it was pretty amazing so to see cool. them grazing so close. Now mm. let's head back into town and get some dinner. Okay, the placement of that Fairmont Hotel absolutely incredible i have done video reaction videos to the history of all of the fairmont hotels but mate they are hundreds of years old imagine what it took to build those beautiful hotels hundreds of years ago and the placement they got it spot on didn't they like where they built it around all the beautiful mountains and peaks just perfect okay I am so looking forward to see what we're going to have to eat here at the Grizzly House. Steak and cheese fondue. <laughs> we like steak here in Australia. We'll eat steak on anything. So I'm really looking forward to see how they mix up this steak and cheese together. Because if you're Australian, you love steak, you love cheese, you love bacon. So maybe they might throw some bacon in there too. Canadians, you guys love bacon. Your bacon is a lot different to our bacon. Um, I don't think you guys would like our bacon. So let's see what we have to wait here. 
at a fondue restaurant called the Grizzly House. It was a beautiful evening, so we were happy to sit out on their patio for a family meal and ordered a couple of Strongbow Rosé ciders to drink, as oh. well as their complete fondue dinner for each of us, which included a tossed green salad or a soup of the day, which was chicken tortellini to start. I decided to upgrade to the French onion soup, which was $2 more, and was well worth it in my opinion. We all love the French meal onion also soup, includes but... your choice of either the bagna cotta vegetable fondue or the traditional Swiss Neuchâtel fondue Whoa. with Gruyere and Emmental cheeses mixed with white wine and kirsch, oh, as no. well as cube French bread and roasted garlic. Oh. I was the first to give the cheese fondue a try, which tasted delicious. You can never go wrong with melted cheese, but sometimes it can be a little bit messy. Before our next course, they brought us five different types of sauces. Okay. My mom chose the beef and lobster, and my uncle had the beef and prawns as their main courses. I got the beef and scallop, and Tom decided on the beef and chicken for his choice. Mm -hmm. They also brought out a slab of granite heated to 650 degrees as wow. well as some garlic butter, which we all used to cook our different types of meat and seafood. Okay. That was quite a fun experience and tasted delectable. And there's even more food to come after this. For dessert, our meals included a chocolate fondue with Belgian milk chocolate, oh. banana, strawberries, cantaloupe, <laughs> honeydew, orange, apple, and wafers. Yum. Our entire dinner at the Grizzly House was excellent from beginning to end, and we would definitely come back here again. Right. But after that, we needed to walk off a few calories, <laughs> so we went for a scenic hike on the Tunnel Mountain Trail, which had a breathtaking view from the Hoodoo's viewpoint, and lots of other great places Aww. for pictures. Well, we hope you enjoyed our Banff Travel Guide. It was beautiful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and check out our Best Things to Do in Vancouver video, okay. as well as our Montreal Travel Guide. Take time to travel. Oh my gosh, I love these guys. And it looks like they do a few different videos from Canada. So I'm going to have to jump on, see what they've got to offer. We've got the best of Quebec City and the best of Montreal. I haven't really covered a lot of Montreal and Quebec. So I might use these videos and see what we can learn. Okay, guys, that was the video for today. If you liked it, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment. And of course, remember to subscribe. That really helps me out. Cheers from down under. Take care. Bye.